OK, um, you can download Inkscape by typing in the word Inkscape into Google and just following the, the links. Um, it's quite a, an easy program to get the hang of, um, and, and it's free, which is great. OK, so I'm gonna, just going to show you a basic um, tutorial on how to use Inkscape. The first thing we're going to do is put a bit of text on the page. This is your page here. And as you can see, I've set it to 44%. Now, when it's print, you know, when it's printed, it'll look a lot bigger than that. Obviously, and you can zoom in on it there by going to the bottom corner. It's easy enough to figure out. Okay, so we're going to put in a bit of text first, and we do that by using the A tool here. Okay, so we just select the A tool and click on the page. Type in "Hello World." Okay, and there's our text on the page. Now, unlike a word processor. Um, Inkscape allows you to put text anywhere you want on the page, any direction, upside down, backwards, back to front, etc. So to move this text around, we need to select this arrow tool here. Um, we click on the text that we want, and we can move it anywhere on the page we want, which is great. Now, if we want to copy that, okay, we can just go up here, edit, copy, edit, paste, okay, and now we've got. Hello world here. Okay. And again we're just dragging it with the arrow tool. Okay. If we click on the text twice, we'll see that the arrows have changed to being curved rather than straight. Now what we can do is we can click one of those arrows and just hold down the mouse and drag it around and you can see it'll be it'll rotate for us quite nicely. Again we can select the arrow and move it there to where we want it. Um, if we want to change the font of the text, what we do is we click the text, we select this tool up here, the T tool. Okay, and here we have our font family, so we we'll just select a font that we like. Okay, we can preview what they look like here. Okay, we can go up. Okay, we we'll use that Cooper, and um, we click apply. And we close. Okay, so we can see our hello world here is in one font and the one here is in a different font. Okay. Now, um, this text looks okay, but we want the background to be a different color. Okay, now, in programs like Microsoft Paint, what you might have done would be to use a, a paint bucket tool. You click that and you click on the page but as you can see here that doesn't work and um, that'll only work if you've already created a, an area that you want to put the paint inside so what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how to make a background and to do it on Inkscape it's a little bit different than using paint you go to this tool up here which is create rectangles and squares and just click that and we're going to click up the top of the page here Actually, we just click outside it a little bit, okay, and we're going to drag, okay, all over the page there. Now you can see it's white, and that's not much of a background because it's the same color as the page. So we go down to the bottom here, and we just click, say, yellow, for example, and now we've got yellow. So what we've done is we've created a yellow rectangle, but the problem is that it's in, it's on top of the hello world text that we've already created. So what we want to do is we want to move this object to the back of the text that we've already created. The text is still there. See, I can move that over there. You can see the text is still there, but the, the rectangle is above the text. So in order to do that, we need to go up here to Object, and we go to this one, lower to bottom. If you have a Windows keyboard, you can just press the button End, which is um, above the arrow keys and that'll put it to the bottom but yeah, if you don't have a windows computer like me you can just click object and lower to bottom okay so we press that and there we go it goes to the back okay um that's doing something funny there i don't know why it's a white background but no oh, never um i'll tell you i'm just going to get rid of that for the moment okay so we have our yellow background and we have our text okay we don't want to move that. All right. So we we'll just put our text there. If we want to make it bigger, 
And of course, you know, we can change the font size and uh, make it bigger, make it 64. Click apply, close. Yeah, it's nice and big now. Okay, so now we've got black text on a yellow background. Okay, if we want to have the text a different color, all we need to do is select the text, change the color by pressing down the bottom. So if we want the text to be white, doesn't read very well, but green looks nice on yellow. Okay, now if we want to put some shapes onto that, okay, there's a few things we can do. We've got a circle tool here, so this is like in paint, you know, you can just draw circles. But unlike paint, what's great about Inkscape is you can draw it and then you can move it around. Uh, you can change the size of it, or you can make it into an elliptical shape, depending on what you fancy. Okay, so I'll just put that there at the top. Hello world. And you can also do things like stars and polygons. So I'm going to click this star and polygon tool. And I've set the corners here to 8. I'm going to bring that down to 6 corners. So when I draw, I just click and I drag to make the star shape. There we go. Um, I can change the color if I want, you know, down here. And I just go back to my arrow tool and I'll drag that onto the page. Right there. Um, this one creates spirals. Okay, so you just drag it like that. You can increase the number of turns. If I move that up, you see there's more turns in the spiral. Okay, you can have it like a, a an old an old tree if you want. You can put that there in the middle. Or you could change the color of that to white maybe. Mm -hmm. um, didn't want that to do that. Maybe like that. Okay. Okay. So there we have our our spiral above that. Now we're going to look at um, putting more objects on the page. Okay, so we can maybe put a few more stars there if we want. Um, okay, well that star is kind of nice there. But just say we we can't really see the text and we can't see the other star. So what we could do is just object lower to bottom like we did with the background. Okay, now but the problem there is that it's gone right to the back so we can go to object and we just go raise this time and there we go it just raises it up one so it's background and then this star and then the other objects above that okay so you can see it's it's, it's in layers all right so that's basically an introduction to Inkscape and I hope that was helpful